We're getting towards the business end of the season and the lines are getting fine. Only been five games played since the January transfer window, but it's been a good set of fixtures for ourselves. The first of which was a 1-0 home win against Derby County, Alpha Dionku with the only goal of the game in the ninth minute. Then was a little bit of a disappointing result away from home against Charlton Athletic, a two-all draw. Ian Gerrard and Dionku once again with the goals. We then won 2-1 at home against Brighton and Hove Albion. Roy Martin with a brace the 13th minute and the 26th minute. We then went away from home against Sheffield Wednesday and won 3-1. Miguel Ramirez, Edison Valdez and Dionku is uh, playing pretty well at right back the 32-year-old. And finally was a 2-1 home win against Coventry City. Ramirez and Davidson with the goals and that sees the Skybet Championship looking like this. We currently sit in third place, three points behind Leeds United in second four points behind fulham top of the table three points ahead of aston villa sitting in fourth position so we've got ourselves right into the conversation with only seven games to go now looking forward to our seven games we will be playing sunderland and redden in today's episode sunderland are currently sitting in 17th and redden are currently sitting in 20th ipswich 6th middlesbrough 13th bolton 21st sheffield united 10th and Brentford 7th. So I think if you look at them set of fixtures, uh, we've got four away from home and three at home. We've got a pretty favourable matchup. We've, we've avoided Leeds and Fulham. We won't be playing them again this season. And we've avoided most of the top sides in the top 10 anyway. Um, so and you never know, automatic promotion. I just don't want to play playoffs. <laughs> I really don't. You've got the likes of West Ham who will likely qualify and um, they will probably be the favourites going into any sort of playoff system. They've got the, still got the likes of Javier Paz. Now, if you don't remember Javier Paz, he was a free transfer we signed for Leeds, who they then sold for £35 million upon relegation, and he is absolutely superb in the central of midfield, still playing in the championship. is a little bit crazy, but um, yeah, we need to avoid playoffs at all costs. Sutherland's coming up first. Let's get into the game, and I'll show you the team. In goal, of course, will be our signing in January, Chabert, who replaced Thompson in goal. Chen, Ambrose and Davidson in the central defender spots. Dionku and Eddie Carlos as the wing-backs. Kokada and Medeiros in the centre of midfield. Roy Martin, Miguel Ramirez and Ian Gerrard up top. We've basically found our best first eleven. This is pretty much it. Let's get to the kickoff. First highlight of the game comes 10 minutes in. It's us on the attack down this left-hand side. We go inside to Kokada. Nearly gives the ball away. Medeiros picks it up though. And uh, we're looking pretty static up front. And there's the ball given away to Karamoka. Dennis coming forward for Sunderland. Thankfully, the defence is on hand to win the ball back. We're not playing this about very well so far. We've lost the ball about three times during this highlight. There's the fourth. Um, but thankfully, we do keep possession this time. Gerard to Medeiros. He plays him down the line there on this left-hand side. If he can whip the ball in back post. Dionko's there. And Alpha Dionko gets his eighth goal. Of He's been superb. At right wing back, absolutely fantastic. Really contributing in the attacking player, getting in the goals. Eight goals for the season for a right wing back is absolutely superb. Uh, Gerard doing pretty well there to hold the ball up, and uh, we go one nil up ten minutes in. Can Sunderland come straight back into it though? Twelve minutes in, we have our second highlight of the game. They are in possession down this left hand side, but we are closing them down well. But whilst we do that, we leave massive gaps, particularly down the wings. That is going to be. Um, pretty uh, typical of our sort of player leaving a lot of gap down the wings and teams who can really exploit that might be able to punish us Hebson whips the ball into right Sunderland now we are equalized two minutes later wing player is definitely going to be an area of concern for us but we've just got to accept our faults and try and play to our strengths and that is the end of the first half after the two goals not a lot happened and we'll kick off for the second it's a pretty even game so far but obviously with us being away from home i don't mind that so much i just hoping for a better second half here we have it then the first highlight of the second half comes 62 minutes in eddie carlos cuts inside from that left wing cocada to ramirez tries to find ian gerard shoots himself which was a poor decision uh, ends up getting blocked by the defense and sunderland might end up being on the counter cocada with a good challenge Dionko coming down this right-hand side to Ramirez, to Martin, to Kokada. Come on, lads. Down the left-hand side for Eddie Carlos. That's a great ball, that. Can he whip it in? He finds Gerard in the box, who finds Medeiros to Roy Martin. He's offside. He's offside. I didn't think he was offside, to be quite frank with you, but it has been given, and uh, we remain at 1-1. We will look to make some changes. We'll get James Black on for Dionko at right wing back. We'll get Jose Medeiros off for um, Andy Mabry in the centre of midfield. 
And we'll also get Mick Van Slimming on for Roy Martin up front. Come on, boys. We really, really could do with a three-point here. Nine minutes to go. We have a corner. It's a poor, poor corner. And Sunderland clear. And uh, maybe they're going to be on the counter-attack. Thankfully, the boys are alive at the back and we win the ball. Carlos to Ramirez to Cocada. Back to Carlos. Come on. Come on, Cocada. Mabry out to Eddie Carlos. Whip this in. He does so. Ball is cleared though by Sunderland. Mabry gets there first, thankfully, and stops the counter-attack before it starts. Van Slimming keeps the ball in. Oh, come on. Chen inside a Cocada. Come on, lads. A little bit... Oh, that's... I mean... We've been shotgun a dear. This is genuinely, although I know I've been beat a couple of times in charge of West Brom, but this has genuinely been our worst performance by an absolute country mile that we have been in charge of West Brom. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we suffered defeat to dear. Free kick for Sunderland, five minutes to go. It's played in. Marquez with a header. He goes just wide. Looking at the match stats, it looks like we've had the better of the game, but I'm telling you now, we were fortunate to get away with that. Sunderland won, West Brom won. We move on to the Reading game. So we've got Redden at home now and I'm hoping for a much better performance than that Sunderland game. The only change to the first 11 is Edison Valdez comes in at left wing back. Let's get into the game and see how we get on. Free kick early on for ourselves. Roy Martin is stepping over. He goes for goal. It's a decent save by the keeper in the end. Another highlight now. 16 minutes in. We're on the attack down the left hand side. Valdez plays it in. Campos brings it out for Redding though. Can we win the ball back? We can. Cocada. Wins it on the right hand side, whips it in, Ramirez is there, he's going to pick it up before it goes out of play, just about, he whips it in back post, it's headed clear by Rodriguez, Roy Martin keeps the ball alive, back to Cocada, it's whipped back in, Ramirez is there back post, oh double save by the keeper, what a fantastic second save it was, his first save was absolutely dreadful, another highlight now, Medeiros, free kick played in, Ramirez is there, and I've got a feeling this goalkeeper is going to be annoying, Valdez coming down this left hand side, 23 minutes and he gets past his man, he gets past his second, he's tripped in the box and we get ourselves a penalty. Roy Martin will be the man who steps up to take it and he beats the keeper. We go 1-0 up. We needed a set piece to do it, but that is fine by me. That's Martin's 13th goal of the season and we will take that all day. 20 minutes to go in the first half. Ramirez plays it out to Betteridge on this right-hand side. Can he whip the ball in? He can. Back post. Ramirez to Valdez. Come on, take the strike to Medeiros. Oh my God, this keeper... Is having one hell of a game. Minus that penalty goal. He has been pretty unstoppable. Medeiros with a corner. Played in and cleared. Come on boys. We're banging on the door. Valdez to Martin back post. And there we are. The keeper was out of position there. So we were able to beat him at the back post. Roy Martin's 14th goal of the season. Now the assist by Edelson, uh, Edison Valdez on that left hand side. And we go 2-0 up 25 minutes in. It's a good cross to the back post. The keeper is flat footed. Not moving with the ball. And uh, there goes his 7 rating. Another highlight now. This is maybe Redding on the attack down the left-hand side. Rodriguez to Campos. He's got loads of space. He whips a back post down to Manning. Oh, good save by Chabert. Comes to Isaac though in the box. It's still not over. Back post. And he goes over the bar. We are going to go to a balanced team mentality now from attacking. One more highlight before half-time. 45 minutes in. Redding's goal kick is won by ourselves. And Corcada brings it through the centre of the park to Martin. There's your overlap on the right hand side. He finds Gerard inside instead. He whips it in to Valdez, to Ramirez. And now we have it. Our uh, Miguel Ramirez's fifth goal since joining us in January. Puts us 3 0 up before half time. Another assist for Edison Valdez on that left hand side. Two for him to do. And uh, we look very, very comfortable going in at half time. We'll uh, G the boys up, kick the battle for the second half, hopefully. It's nice and quiet, nice and calm. We can relax, we can enjoy ourselves. Maybe a couple of more goals thrown in there just for good measure. Maybe Roy Martin can get himself a hat-trick, you never know. And uh, But we're going to take off Valdez. He's just picked up a couple of, couple of knocks there. Pointless risking him. We've got Eddie Carlos sitting on the bench ready to be brought on. Corner for Red and Woodburn plays it in. We do manage to get a clear only as far as Campos on the edge of the area. He whips it in to the back post and Steed Lemoine gets his fourth goal of the season. That was a decent first-time strike from the cross. Um, should we go count? No, I don't think we go count. I think we actually go positive, uh, to be quite honest with you. I think the more we sit back, the more we invite pressure. And uh, putting our, uh, going on the front foot a little bit more might be what the doctor ordered. Although saying that, we are just about to suffer a counter-attack by Ren and Isaac coming forward down the right-hand side to Ferreira Oliveira. He whips it in back post. Green gets a clear. Rodriguez can keep the ball alive. Can we win the ball, please? We can't. And uh, offside. 
no worry about. With only around 12 minutes or so to go, we will make our final couple of subs. Andy Mabry can come on for Kokada, and uh, Ian Gerrard can come off for Mick Van Slimming. So we are going to get the win in today's game. West Brom 3, Redden 1. Let's go and see what that does to the championship table. So disappointingly, because of that draw against Sunderland in the first game, we are still outside of the automatic promotion spots. We're two points behind Leeds and three points behind Fulham with five games to go. But we're also only two points ahead of West Ham in fourth. So we've got to keep an eye on them as well. In terms of the next episode then, boys, I'm not sure when it's going to be. Um, if there's a game where we can guarantee promotion, I'll come back for that. Or if not, we'll, we'll come back for the Sheffield United and Brentford game. Well, we'll find out if we get automatic or we get the playoffs. But anyway, boys, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.